guys, welcome back for vlog 131. And today we're here eating a Cali burrito. It's also very windy here today. Trying uh, what was recommended to me last night on the stream, uh, Guzman Y Gomez um, spicy Cali uh, burrito. I don't know necessarily all the ingredients inside it, or I know it's supposed to have hot chips in there or something. Or that, that I, or I just got the wrong version. I don't know. I just asked him for the spicy cutlet burrito, and that's the story behind it today. So, without further ado, um, bear in mind there is a few nuances, and I can subtract a couple of points from me taking a little bit. I ordered it. I, I dropped my, my family's food off at home, and uh, I'm out here, and I had to find a good spot, set up my equipment, and all that. So, you know, I've got about potentially uh, five or ten, five or ten minutes of it going cold. So, whatever hot meat was in there it probably went a little bit colder so uh, on my part I'll take that so I'm just gonna rate it as it is and actually it does actually have chips in it um, straight away so it looks like I got the correct one yeah uh, the chips are a little a little bit on the cold side but again I can't subtract points for that I took too long so we'll take it for its value. And we'll see how we go. First initial bite impression. Hmm. Okay. This is really nice. Was actually surprising. I was expecting it to be so terrible, but even when it cooled off a little bit, it's actually quite nice. Hmm. Ah. So right away, and because I got the spicy chicken, you can tell the spice actually does come out in this flavor. And what else I've actually seemed to notice. Well, it actually just feels like it's just all meat, but the chips absolutely complement the entire meal for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. Just, yeah, this is really nice. I can definitely taste the uh, tomato or whatever salsa that, that they've put in this. The cheese, there is cheese in there, but I haven't tasted it yet. Mm. I think I'm tasting the guacamole in there too. Wow. That is really nice. Yeah, great recommendation, Rose. <laughs> wow, dude. I think I just tasted the beautiful tomato and just come out, wow. Especially for my one meal for today. This is extremely filling. I'm just it a little bit. So it does have uh, grilled chicken. It does have some, looks like to be mozzarella cheese. Either mozzarella or, I can't really tell the difference in the cheese. It's just such a light cheese, I can barely taste it. The guacamole does stand out. And inside here, we do have pieces of the chicken. You can see a little bit of the, the jalapenos. And if I have a look at this, we got a carrot. I'm just trying to get the individual flavors, but yeah, there is chips here. You can see there, see uh, the potato chip. Mmm. Well, I know I'm not supposed to eat chips on my diet, but like I care, but I don't. This is hands down better than the last burrito that I've actually had from Guzman. So, oh, it's so hard to compare restaurants. You've got to order the same dish. If you're going to make stuff nice like this every single time. I'm definitely going to keep uh, ordering it. Get a little bit more onion here. Overall, my rating for the Cali Spicy Chicken Burrito with its mixture of flavors, great textures, and complimentary light cheese with a touch of guacamole and chips to the side. It actually surprised me. <laughs> Duh. It's overall doesn't come off as too spicy and a great blend and balance of flavor and spice. I would give this a solid nine out of 10. Thank you again, Ryzen, for the uh, recommendation, bro.
gone for a bit of a beach walk here and you can see what I'm looking at and a bit of a, a viewpoint of how I'm viewing it. It's actually kind of a nuts idea doing this. And uh, you get to see a lot of a lot more of what I'm walking into. And as you can see these these rocks here. Little bit dangerous. You can see like live crabs. Uh, for the most part this actual this stick actually feels pretty good to use. Now I did connect the selfie stick remote here and I'll show you guys really quick. You see the selfie stick remote? I actually I did connect this to the phone and I tried to get it on before and uh, it's supposed to flash blue after you hold the uh, camera record button for a while. Oof. And now a little sharp. Going out for that little bit of exploration and a bit of a walk. And you know what's the funny thing about this selfie stick is it's actually very well counterbalanced and we all know that you know some mobile phones especially the Samsung Galaxy S3 Ultra is quite heavy and I'm able to quite easily stabilize this in my hand I also prefer my be my bare feet when navigating things like this because I go by feeling where thongs I generally just I don't really feel stable in them, especially around water. And you can see very, very much so that this isn't uh, dry. And the, and the tide is slowly coming in. And let me switch the camera around again. I can kind of walk this like a fisherman now. <clears throat> a bit of a, a rear view. I don't know how much you see, but I see a lot. And, uh, oh, there's a little, little crab, and I can't really show and zoom that in, but. Just navigating through these uh, deep waters, but you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful view. Oh, there's some crabs swimming off, the bigger ones now. It just came out of one of the crevices. Let me get a nice close up for you. Whoa. It walks like this, it's right really knee deep now. Oh, there's some more little fishies swimming around. And there's a little, is that a shell or a crab? I don't know, don't trust it. I'm not trusting uh, the wobbles and reflections in the water. I'm just trying to make sure that this is stable and not slippery. All right, we've made it to the little island. Oh, it looks a bit over here. Hell yeah. Let's get a bit of a, a better view. Now we can see everything. Now we're on a little mini island. You can see clearly that the tide is out. And even just to get a bigger and better view of everything. Look at that. So beautiful. Great shot. Look at this.
so beautiful. That's what I that's what I love to see. Anyway, it's getting pretty damn dark. Do you guys have any uh, thoughts and recommendations on uh, new foods and stuff we can try out on the next vlog? Let me know. Definitely keen to try out any and all foods. Well, there is certain restrictions. I don't generally like raw live food. So those recommendations are generally out of the question. But, you know, like some local popular restaurants, some of your favorite foods, um, you know, something that's nice and that I could relate to and something that I could go and try and eat. You know, hit me up with those recommendations. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. I think I may have cut my foot open. Holy, it felt like it. That shell was really sharp. I think that's my, uh, that is my warning sign to get out of the, the shell infested zone. Anyway guys, if you if you liked the uh, vlog today, uh, don't forget to check out 132. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>